Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I do cooks it. Today we have a delicious gourmet smash burger. Before we get started on this recipe, please like, subscribe, and share. More importantly, subscribe. So to get started, we're going to need some brioche buns, some ground beef. I have some chuck and sirloin. That's some green seasoning, some finely chopped onions. We need sriracha, mayo, ketchup, ranch. That's the secret ingredient right there. Some complete seasoning, garlic powder, onion powder, cayenne pepper, black pepper, Dijon mustard. We also have our fresh tomatoes, onions, and mushrooms some finely shredded Gruyere and um, Colby Jack cheese. You can use whatever cheese you like, of course. So we're just gonna mix everything up, the green seasoning, the finely chopped onions. We have our um, some garlic powder, cayenne pepper. We're gonna need some salt, of course. We have to salt our food. Now the complete seasoning um, does have some salt, so you wanna make sure that you um, you keep that in mind when you're salting the burger mix as well so right there we're going to add our complete seasoning like i said just be mindful that it is salted so we don't want everything to be heavily salted so that's some dijon mustard um, very very crucial to put it in the mix and the secret ingredient to the patties is some mayo you want to put some mayo it'll add a nice juicy flavor to the burger it adds juiciness i'm using a mixture of ground chuck um, and ground sirloin so the mayo just makes this out of this world juicy without it being um, too dry it's because we are going to cook our burgers well done and we still want it to be juicy so well done to medium well i don't like pink on my burgers you can cook your burgers however you would like though but i prefer mine to be medium well to well done and then at this point we're just mixing everything up can't really mess up a burger this is going to be smash burgers, so we don't um, we don't form a typical patty like a burger patty. All we're going to do is just make up some um, some balls, and then those balls are going to turn into the burger because we're going to smash them. Hence the word smash burger. Now to cook the smash burger, the one thing I do recommend is a cast iron. A cast iron will give your burger a nice crust on the outside. If you don't have a cast iron, make sure you heat up whatever skillet you're using very well. Put the ball on there, wait a minute, then smash it. My, um, I don't, I'm very weak handed, so I have to smash mine a couple of times to get it to the um, thinness that I want. But yeah, this is, this is pretty much it. You cannot mess this up. It's very easy to make. A good recipe to get your kids involved too. The whole time I was making it, I had my son in the kitchen just bothering me with questions of course <laughs> at this point once you get your burger um on one side done you want to add your mushrooms and your onions and start sauteing those as well and here i'm just moving them so i can give the onions and the mushrooms some room to saute i don't want them to sweat i just want them to cook on high heat so they'll maintain that crispy um crispy flavor crispy texture i don't want them to be soggy i don't want them to be too sauteed i want them to be nice and fried so at this point look at that so that is some delicious crust on the outside but the inside is going to be super duper juicy so right now we pretty much just want to saute the onions and let them kind of move around and then um, we add the complete seasoning. I also added some fresh ground pepper. So the complete seasoning just goes on the onions part. And remember, the complete seasoning has salt, so no need to add any additional salt on the onions and the mushrooms. But hey, you do you. If you want it to be salty, go for it. This is a democracy on this channel. You can do whatever you like. Look at that, we are done. So when we are almost finished, we of course toast our buns because you know, that's just what we have to do when making these burgers, toast your brioche buns. The brioche bun is a nice bun for this burger too. It's nice and buttery and flavorful. While our cheese is melting, we're gonna make this quick sauce for the burgers consists of mayo, Dijon mustard, ketchup, a little bit of sriracha, just a tad, and our secret ingredient on this sauce is gonna be ranch. So good, don't skip it out. And then that's it, that's the sauce right there. That's the magic sauce. Put some sauce on both sides of the buns because we have to, <laughs> and that's it. 
you put as much as you like. I was kind of trying to be a little bit healthy that day. So just a tad. Look at that cheese that is melted. Look at the onions and the mushrooms. Oh my God, that burger is delicious and juicy. Look at that beautiful burger, you guys. You have to try this recipe out. And as usual, before I let you go, thank you so much for watching. Do not forget to, again, like, subscribe, and share. More importantly, subscribe though. Thank you guys and see you next time.